Oh, man, I think I've been sitting here too long. I better stand up. You know what? I think that'll make a great topic. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. When you work in front of a computer keyboard for a living, it can be difficult to keep fit or even just moderately healthy. Long, sedentary hours of sitting, staring in one direction, and very little movement at all. Besides not really burning any calories, all that sitting takes its toll on your body. Muscles begin to atrophy, your posture sags, and you get soft around the middle. If you're one of those smart few who exercise after work, you have to work out extra hard to undo the damage of doing nothing but sitting, typing, drinking coffee, and munching on M&Ms and Doritos for the last several hours. <laughs> Let's face it, this life is not for the weak. It takes years of dedication to build up the round, soft, lumpy physique of a keyboard master. Seriously, though, it sucks. <laughs> And like many out there, I've discovered the downside of being a professional weaver of code. I'm out of shape. I'm overweight. My back hurts. My hands ache. And I get the pleasure of taking a daily handful of pills for various ailments. Yay me! <laughs> I am endeavoring to remedy this, however. I've changed my diet by cutting way back on the workday snacking. And I've limited the amount of coffee to just one or two cups in the morning. The rest of the day, I'm just drinking water. These minor changes help, but I'm far from in shape because of it. The biggest change in my workday routine was switching to a standing workstation. For the majority of the day, I'm standing up. I'm moving around while I'm typing away. This has helped my aching back quite a bit. I still have a ways to go to be considered fit, but I've slowly been working my way that way. There are many challenges to adopting a stand-up or a standing desk. First, it needs to fit you. You'll need to position the keyboard where you can type comfortably without having your hands too high or too low. You'll need to position the monitor so you're looking forward and not straining your neck by looking down all the time. Also, you'll need some comfortable shoes or invest in a foam or rubber mat to stand on. Believe it or not, I think the most challenging aspect of using a standing desk is knowing when to sit down. There have been times when I've overdone it and my feet and legs are tired, swollen, and sore when I got home. Luckily, in my office, I have a second desk where I keep a laptop and I can uh, sit down and uh, rest my feet for a little bit while I get some other work done. There are purpose-built standing desks you can purchase. There's even one that will raise and lower with a push of a button so you can sit or stand at the same desk, depending on your mood. <laughs> In my office, I have one of those uh, standard office desks. I was using it for years. I went online to Ikea and ordered a small end table, a couple of L brackets, and a shelf. I don't think I spent more than uh, $50 on the whole thing. When the shipment arrived, it took less than an hour to put it all together and I've been happily standing and typing ever since. I still need to put more movement and exercise into my daily workday routine. I found this great website that shares different workouts with some designed specifically to do in an office environment. I printed a few of those out and taped them to the wall next to my desk. So every once in a while throughout the day, I'll just do one of the routines. Now, I just started doing this a few days ago, so I don't have any results to share, but, you know, every little bit of exercise helps. If you can't adopt a standing desk lifestyle for one reason or another, one thing I do highly recommend you do is stand up every hour and stretch. Also, let's say every other hour, walk around a little bit, go down the hallway, get a drink of water. Again, every little bit of exercise helps. I surprised myself when I wrote this that uh, I've been using my standing desk for about 600 days now. I really should have done it sooner. 
And in the show notes, I'll provide links to the exercises I mentioned, plus the, some pictures of my workstation and the uh, parts list of everything that I use to put it together. Um, if you're using a standing desk at work, please uh, let us know how you like it. Uh, please leave a comment or uh, share your uh, thoughts on social media. Uh, just a reminder, Father's Day is next week. Don't forget to talk to your dad, or at least get him a nice card. Come on. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, my own father has been feeling under the weather lately. Dad, I love you. Get well soon. I'm happy to announce, as of June 14, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 881 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus materials from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.